Hi, I might eventually post this on the Bioware forums, but uh, I don't know. It's easier to make a video in some ways about these things. Uh, mostly I want to talk about the plot device, the catalyst, and Mass Effect 3, and uh, I will briefly talk about the ending. In, in a way, it's been talked about ad nauseum, but uh, I'll just give my take on that as well. I absolutely hate the concept of the catalyst. Um, in particular, because the concept is so not novel, it's, 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 it, the catalyst just seems like something they just pulled out of their asses. Um, as far as I know, they admitted the suicide mission, which was an okay idea. And Mass Effect 2 was also sort of pulled out of their asses. Um, the catalyst really, in my opinion, disrupts game continuity. I mean, you leave Earth, you're off to Mars, and all of a sudden there's a protein, what appears to be a protein, a, a super weapon that can defeat the Reapers. How convenient is that? I've had this idea for quite some time that they could have done it differently, and of course it won't happen, but I thought I might throw it out there. One of the interesting things we discover in Mass Effect 2 about the Reapers is that they are in part organic, that they uh, build themselves essentially from organic species. Now, this could have been the key, the, the, the idea that the Reapers are essentially organo, organo uh, organotech creatures. They're a synthesis of both. This is uh, an interesting concept. Mind you, in the ending, if you choose the synthesis ending or not, even if you don't, the, the so-called catalyst tells you that the, the melding of uh, tech and machine and, and, and organic DNA is uh, you know, the ultimate uh, achievement in evolution, so on and so forth, and you know, that's what the Reapers are. This is something that could have been built upon starting in the very first uh, game of the series. You could have created a plot with a large line of continuity all the way up until the ending. Where do we start? We could start with the final battle uh, at the Citadel in Mass Effect 1 against Sovereign. You don't need to reveal too much up until then, since in Mass Effect 1 a lot of it is a mystery. After the battle, you might have some cutscenes, or at least some mention of the fact that scientists or someone had gathered various pieces from the Sovereign spacecraft, what appears to be a spacecraft, and discovered organic components and even DNA strands in those, uh, in those, in the pieces of the spacecraft. And this got them thinking, and they began studying it. And you could have just left it there, uh, right there. You could have, on some level, expanded on that. But, you know, some hint that, hmm, there's something organic here. That doesn't really make sense what exactly is a Reaper. You might further build upon this speculation without changing very much in Mass Effect 2 by, in the very beginning, positing the idea that, not necessarily that they're building a human Reaper, but uh, that, hmm, that the, the Reapers might in part be organic, and you wonder how that's possible. All the way leading up to uh, collector base, and you find out they're building a human reaper, and so on and so forth. That would be a perfect time to take samples. Cerberus could study that, and imagine Shepard would as well. So you have that continuity, the idea that hmm, reapers are not synthetics, but they're also organic. Six months is a sufficient period of time, in my opinion to come up with research, especially in a science fiction game, uh, regarding certain things. We'll put it this way. The research, for example, on the uh, techno-organic nature of the Reapers. Instead of the stupid catalyst, which is, oh, there's a big super weapon. Fucking retarded, in my opinion. Instead of that, what they could have done, what they should have done, in my opinion, my very humble opinion, possibility, is they kept this synthetic organic uh, theme intact. And so Mass Effect, uh, you st in Mass Effect 3, you still need to unite the races, you still need to develop war assets, but it's more of a race towards piecing together uh, the scientific evidence, getting, understanding what essentially is Reaper physiology, and you might journey to different worlds and look at archives and what have you, and the proteins might have more information on it, in the effort to develop a kind of virus, a, a sort of techno-organic virus. 
in the end, instead of the catalyst or whatever this piece of crap uh, Deus Ex thing, it might be even more interesting to journey into dark space and the origins of the Reapers. And of course, you might find the origins of the Reapers. Personally, I didn't like the idea that the Reapers were some tool of some greater, some even greater power, and it's kind of another sort of thing you pull out of your ass. It would have been much more interesting if they had once been organics and sort of evolved. And you might be faced with a dilemma, consequently, of, hmm, uh, you, you, the, the techno-organic virus, given the, the proper treatment and alterations, could be altered so as to evolve human beings. Um, and not the other races, or all organic, or something along those lines. Um, but in any event, you probably would end up journeying into dark space to find the source of the Reapers. That would be much more interesting, and it would keep game continuity. Um, you could keep the Mar, you could keep everything in the Mars archives, for example. Instead of finding uh, the catalyst, you might find um, Prothean data on organic uh, Reaper na uh, nature. Maybe they had part of a a clue, some of the clues to piecing together some kind of techno virus that might be effective against them. After all, what we see in Mass Effect 3 isn't that far off. I mean, they study indoctrination, uh, they talk about chemicals, adrenaline. Why, why, why the catalyst? Uh, well, I know why, because it's easy and anyone could have thought of that, but it just goes to show how much effort they put in these things, the catalyst. And then, uh, just such a bad idea. I would have been so much more sad because that was one of the most interesting things to me. Uh, so I've always been interested in evolution in general, this idea of synthetic organic mix and how uh, the Reapers are in part um, organic. And they really could have built on that and they could have made it, uh, well, in a way, the Achilles heel of the Reapers. Um, this catalyst thing, they just totally pulled out of their asses. Uh, there could have been game continuity without actually changing the events. You still need to gather war assets. And instead of trying to piece together a catalyst, you're, um, you're gathering perhaps maybe scientists to study the nature of Reaper tech or uh, more, more appropriately Reaper DNA. Um, yeah, things along those lines. Regarding the ending, <laughs> a lot has been said. It is pretty terrible. It doesn't really make much sense. Uh, What's the point of showing that Normandy crashing? You know, I, I only beat the game once. It was nice. I chose the synthetic melding editing. It was nice to see Joker and, and Evie finally work something out. And Joker's all glowing with green, so I guess he's part synthetic and what have you, and that's fine. But I think my biggest gripe with the ending at the end of the day is that Shepard, this guy, he's been <laughs> he's been through hell. I mean, he <laughs> he's been doing all the work since day one. He's been sacrificing. He's been, I mean, it's fiction, right? So he is literally a hero, even if he's had to commit atrocities in order to get to achieve certain goals, depending on whether you're Paragon or Renegade, even in some cases, regardless regardless of which, remember what happened with the Batarians and the, and the Alpha Relay. Um, my biggest gripe is that why can't he just be happy? Why can't Shepard, you know, you know, he jokes with Liara, for example, about, you know, settling down and having blue children. And, you know, why not? It sounds cheesy, but Shepard's been through fucking hell. Why not give him the opportunity to, to for some happiness? You know, for, he wouldn't need to destroy the fucking relays, either. I mean, that, that's retarded. I, I, obviously, they're doing it for some future thousand years, thousand years in the future DLC, probably. But, I mean, come on, seriously. Why, 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 why is, why do they begrudge Shepard some happiness? I mean, there's enough misery in the real life, you know. In real life, no one deserves happiness, and people rarely get it, because that's not the way it is. But why not, why deprive him, this guy has been, <laughs> since day one, working his ass off, trying to get things done. <sighs> you know, that's my big issue with the ending. That's why all the irrelevant scenes, <coughs> and the silliness of the whole thing, of course, the ending is tied to the catalyst, and I hate the catalyst. But uh, you know, it just shocks me that, that they, this total lack of creativity. Uh, mind you, those who have played Deus Ex, um, the latest one, the ending just totally smacks of Deus Ex. I mean, it's, it's identical. Three choices. I think in Deus Ex there might be four. I can't remember. I only beat it twice, two or three times. 
you know, basically pressing a button, you're more or less pressing a button in Mass Effect 3 as well. It, total, total lack of, of, of thought put into it. it. It's really just shocking. Um, so, yeah, the catalyst sucks. PC, and, and yeah, Shepard Shepard deserves a bit of, of a break, a bit of happiness, man. He's been doing way, way too much work for the past five years or so. I mean, cut him some slack. Of course, that's not going to happen. We're stuck with what it is. And uh, as EA continues its assault on gaming quality and continues to worsen gaming quality, uh, I suspect it'll only get worse. Um, I'm not, I've not reached the point where I say this is the last Bioware game I'll ever buy, but I likely will never pre-order a Bioware game again until I see extensive, extensive reviews. Um, and of course, that would cost that will cost me valuable DLC since <laughs> DLC is the name of the game these days. You don't get anything without DLC. But anyway, yeah, the, I, I, my whole idea of a techno-organic virus that keeps continuity intact and stresses the theme of the organic nature of the Reapers and maybe gives some backstory of how they became what they are. I, we know that they're built from organics, but that's it. We don't know how they evolved. Maybe they were maybe they were the dominant species three billion years. I mean, who knows? We just don't know these things. Rather than you know invent some super being that controls everything, and uh, I mean, talk about Deus Ex. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. These are just my thoughts on it.